guys, welcome back and today we're gonna see how to turn on the LED light using your mobile application. For this, we'll need one Arduino Uno, one Wi-Fi module. I have used the 8266 ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi module, so you can use that. Couple of cables, two LED lights. Two resistors, one capacitor, and one voltage regulator. This is the 3.3 volt regulator. This is the AMS 3117 voltage regulator. So this is the basic architecture. So this Wi-Fi module requires the constant 3.3 voltage. So we have to create the power supply module for 3.3 voltage. So it can give us constant supply of 3.3 volt, and we will create this module later. But for now, let's let's discuss the all pins of the of the module, and how to connect them and where to connect them. So, so first pin will go to the ground. Other two are GP0 and GP1. We don't need them right now, so we can just skip them. So third pin is the RX pin, which will directly go to the Arduino. To pin number three, so this pin here will require the 3.3 voltage supply. This and these two pins require the same voltage supply. So we have connected this to this voltage supply, and this will go to the pin number two. This is the TX pin, and LEDs will be connected to the Arduino on any pins you want. But uh, yeah, we will see it later. So let's create the power supply module first. So this is the front side of the voltage regulator. This is the 5 volt input. This is 3.3 volt output. And this is the ground. You have to connect this capacitor with the voltage regulator along with the long one. This one. You have to connect this with the 3.3 output and this one will go to the ground. As you can see here, we have connected the 5 volt here and uh, capacitor is connected with the 3.3 voltage output and this is connected to the ground. This module will generate the constant 3.3 voltage supply which we will need for the Wi-Fi module. This module here will generate the 3.3 constant supply which we'll need for the ESP8266 module. So as you can see, the first pin is ground. We'll connect this for the ground. We'll later connect this to the ground, to the Arduino. These two pins will not require right now. So we'll just skip them. And after that, this is the RX pin. So connect this to. So this will go to the pin number 3 on the Arduino. So this is the 3.3 power supply and this is the ground. So we have connected the ground pin to right here. So this pin is connected to the ground and this one is this pin is connected to the RX to the pin number 3 on the Arduino. So let's connect the next pin which is this and this so these two pins will go to the 3.3 power supply module so this is here so this one is this one here so let's connect this and this will go here and next pin is this one right here so this is first second and third So this is first, second and third. This will also go to the 3.3 power supply. Right here. And the last pin, this one, will go to the pin number 2 on the Arduino. So let's connect the last pin. This one right here. And this will go to the pin number 2. On 
clear do you know so we have two led lights which will be connected to the pin number 6 and 7 you can connect on any one but uh, we have selected the 6 and 7 so let's connect so small one so this one will go to the ground and this one will go to the pin number 6 or 7 This is also the small one will go to the ground and big one will go to the positive. Let's connect the resistors. So let's connect these two pin number seven and these two pin number six. Connect this. The pin number six and this one right here. This is the pin number seven. So six. So this one with seven and this one pin on pin six. So after this, let's connect the power supply module to our breadboard. So this one right here, this will go to the five five volt power supply. So let's connect that. You can see, and this right here, middle one, it will go to the three point three power output. So we will connect that here, and this is the ground. This is this will go to here. So now connect the last ground pin to the breadboard, and we are good to go. So this will. So here is the ground pin, and this will directly go here. Now we are done with the connection. Let's see the iPhone application part. So this is uh, pin number two and three. This is the TX and this is the RX pin. These are the AT commands. So I written the one method for that to run the AT commands. I don't know what is wrong with my mouse. So this is the method which will run the AT command, and you can find the link in the description. So I have uploaded the code here. So this is a simple code from the app you have to send the pin equal to and the pin number so this will read the character after the equal to sign and this will it will toggle the every time like you if you if you send it here like 7 then it will read the character 7 and uh, it will light up the 7th or toggle or we can say toggle the 7th pin So you have to select the USB model. Make sure you have selected that because sometimes it may take time to automatically get select. And you have you can see a serial monitor. So here is the O server on one ninety two one six eight four point one. It is sorry. So this is the O server. So we have to hit this. So. So we have connected our app to that server and uh, on port eighty, of course. And after that, I written one function to write on out output screen. So when we tap on six button six, and I have taken the two buttons like for six and seven. These are two buttons. So if I tap six, then this string will be sent to the server. And uh, this will be written on the output stream, and we can read here. Yeah, we'll read here. Like uh, we'll find a first pin equal to six. So we'll go till this, and then after that, it will read this character six. This will read that character six. So that's it. And six will date will write to the six, and it will toggle the pin. So to run this code on device, you will need the developer account. 
You cannot run without developer. So I have connected the USB to my machine and also connected to my phone. So now I'll run the Arduino code and the, after that I'll run the app code. First of all, just make sure that you are connected to the device and after that this is the application Arduino. So just open it and you are ready to go. So you click on six and it on. And it's So just make sure guys you connect the Wi-Fi first and after that you have to open the app or restart the app again if it's not working then restart the app again. Thank you for watching guys. Comment down the questions if you have any and make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel. I'll see you next time.